are the first day of September 2011. And in just uh, eight and a half days, it'll be 10 years since the attacks that changed America forever. That's right, our country's been attacked many, many times, but there was never a move to abolish the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution and say that tyranny would keep us safe when everyone who studied history knows tyranny is the greatest danger in any society, in any civilization. Now, I want to go over some of the news, uh, just give you a, a brief uh, rundown on what's coming up here on the radio today and some of the guests that are coming up. And then we're going to open the phones up because I do want to take a lot of your phone calls here on the broadcast today. But some of the news we have here, jobless claims are stuck above 400,000 a month. Productivity is falling, and this is the Wall Street Journal. But remember that the government numbers they're using themselves are cooked. And so they're admitting that the economy is in a deep recession, never left the recession. Geithner has called it the greatest recession. And even though they're doing stealth QE3 and other forms of debt monetization, this country, and in fact the entire global system, is in the stranglehold of the globalists. That's what globalism is, is a financial global directorate designed to destroy sovereign nations, the family, the individual. It's all about conquering you and putting you into an artificial environment, an artificial habitat, like you're at the zoo. Artificial cultures, artificial media, artificial food, artificial information. In fact, here's just a quick example. Uh, driving in today, I was listening to local news radio, and I'm actually going to print these articles off later and get into it if I remember. But I heard two different news items uh, during the news program. And one of them was... Oh my gosh, the state has passed a law saying that the school can spank your child. And then the news reporter was saying, how can this be in the news? They were playing clips of people saying parents can't spank children, but the government can. And it was wrong on so many fronts. So many facets. And sure enough, they then went into the news talk program, and the third caller gave them the Texas Penal Code that I've looked up, and it says a parent or a guardian under state law, and it's the same in every other state, can, will, and should use corporal punishment if needed to maintain safety and order. Uh, do you think schools... When I was in public school 20-something years ago, do you think they, uh, if uh, I did something wrong or was even late to class too many times, would call me into the principal's office and take out a paddle? Do you think they were doing that without there being a law? It's the penal code. But you see the news going along with the hoax that it is illegal for parents to spank their children. It is illegal for you to do serious bodily harm, break a bone, knock out a tooth. That's assault. Well, then you have to ask the question, why then, regardless of which side of this debate you're on, do you know, and it's in the news, about the tens of thousands of Child Protective Services cases every year where they take people's children, you've seen it on the news, where a woman in Target spanks her daughter who's throwing fits and breaking things, just gives her a few spats, and the police are called, she's arrested, and the child is taken. And in many cases, drug off, raped, given STDs, cries for mama, that's mental illness, put on psychotropic drugs, and the kids beg to see mommy and never see her again. And that's normally what happens. Oh, those, those spoiled brat children find out real quick. The social engineers on record, 
the American Pediatric Association, the Psychiatric Association, the Psychology Association, they all in the last 60, 70 years have come out and said, don't spank so that parents cease to be parents. And so the state can now come in and be the parent. And the children get out of control. They get into crime. They go to juvenile hall. Uh, they get baptized in corruption. And now the police taser them to keep control of them or shoot them. What do you do when a child can't be reasoned with and is three years old and keeps trying to run out the street? The third time you spank them because they don't understand the car can kill them, but they do understand that there's a bad effect when they try to turn the stove on for the third time in a row, when they try to stick a piece of metal in the light socket for the third time, when they uh, climb up on the counter for the third time and try to pull out butcher knives, as children do. When they try to go in the garage and see what's in the gasoline tank for the third time. They want to destroy law and order. So, yes, in the name of allowing spanking and corporal punishment in schools, they passed a law restricting the right of the independent school district, which I don't like government training centers, and I wouldn't put my child in them, but some people don't have a choice. And if you're going to put them in there, they've got to maintain order. But see, instead, in a few areas in Illinois and New York where they do not have corporal punishment, Dodgeball is not allowed either because it's seen as aggressive. That's where they have the shootings. That's where the teachers are getting attacked. That's where your kids are being beaten up. That's where there's absolutely no control. But then if there's a little fist fight or a scuffle or even kids shake hands, not allowed in many schools, the police are called. See, instead of being run around the track till you throw up or being given a few painful pops that don't hurt you physically but sure sting, Instead of that happening, oh, no, you're just going to go to a jail cell when you're 13 and there's 17-year-olds in there. They're going to take you in the shower and they're going to rape you and they're going to give you STDs. And that's what goes on every day. Remember the Texas Youth Commission where they were organizing gladiatory fights for the police in them, where there was STDs being spread everywhere, where they were caught selling the young children to government officials and others that would actually come to the facilities. Yeah, your child instead, because you don't want to discipline them, they're just going to get out of control. It's just like with dogs. Dog and human psychology is very similar. You don't, you don't have to really spank a puppy hard at all. It's just the newspaper. When they don't go on the newspapers you've laid down or when they don't wait to go outside... You tell them no, and you spat them with that. And it's the, it's the psychology of this is a bad thing. I need to do what you're saying. But I know I, I, I watch the, quote, trendy liberals. They're not liberals at all. What they are is people that allow themselves to be programmed and have the natural order run out of them so they can be totally controlled and society can be brought down. You'll always know liberals at a dog park with their dogs. They're out of control. They're yelling at their dog. Their dog's jumping up and down, going crazy, biting other dogs. You, you, you can't go to a movie with your children and not watch the liberals come in and just gripe at their kids and get in their face and needle them and psychologically mess with them and peck at them. And, and, and I mean, I had to leave a movie a month ago with my children because in the 10 minutes before, these people were, the, these, these, these socialists were in front of me. And I, and I heard enough to then hear that they actually were basically socialists. And they had like this three-year-old daughter. They were totally screwing up, just needling her and telling her this and that. And, 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 you, and guaranteed they don't discipline her. These, these are mentally ill people. They've taken control of our society. They've totally wrecked it, and they love it. Now, I'm going to get into the news and your calls. It's just that to hear the news say it's illegal for parents to spank their children, to then hear the show go live and hear the host say it, and then the third caller, right, right as I pulled in, I was sitting in the car waiting, going, does somebody know this? He called in and he read out the penal code. In fact, I forget it. It's nine point something. Texas, uh, Texas penal code uh, on, on parent uh, spanking, and then it'll come up for you. And it says right there, the parent, the guardian, whoever. Under law, under common law, if you give your child to your cousin, to your parents, 
to a school, to a church. I mean, you know, that was the old thing of if kids got doing something wrong, the whoever caught them would spank them. The police would spank them. And when you got home, the parents would spank them. Well, then there's the whole thing of don't lay a hand on my child. So the police are just going to stand back when your kid's throwing a fit and taser them. They can die of a heart attack from that. And law and order has gone out the window. And so now parents have to sign this form saying you can use corporal punishment. And I heard teachers on the air saying, look, it's the a lot of times the uneducated inner city, whites, blacks, Hispanics, whatever the case may be. It's always the trouble kids that the parents say, don't lay a hand on my child. That's just the way it is, because they're not disciplining their children either. They bought into the system. Yeah, that's a boil down of overall state laws. Abuse does not include reasonable discipline by a parent, guardian, managing, or possessory conservator if child not exposed to substantial risk of harm. Family Code Section 261.001. Yeah, that's not the one. It's in Code 9.1, I believe. Now, that's just a boil down of the states. It actually gives it right there. So here's the deal. It's another hoax. You don't have to take vaccines. It's not the law. You can spank your children.